So yeah, welcome to a quick video. I just want to show you how you can install and use the AG Grid plugin. Uh, it's a small plugin for an uh, interactive grid like editing experience, but it's more like uh, you, you get when you use spreadsheet applications like Excel. So um, if you want to install it, you just go to the releases section on GitHub and here's a download link to the latest zip. And uh, if, you, if you download it and unpack it, you get these four files. Two of them are a, a PLSQL package that's needed. And the other ones are Apex plugins. So if you want to install the package first, gonna open up the file, copy the content, and then go to Apex, go to SQL Workshop, SQL commands. You can of course also do it with, for example, SQL Developer, but uh, here's how you can do it in Apex. Just uh, paste the package code and press Control Enter, and you can see package gets created. Um, you have to also do the same for the body, but I already did it, so I'm gonna skip it here. So yeah, if in your application you want to use this plugin, next go to Shared Components, plugins and import and here you're gonna gonna drop the two files for example here and um, I also already did it so I don't need to do it here as well so great now you're ready to start so just I'm gonna create a new page blank page uh, change the number um, it something and on the new page gonna create a new region and if the plugin was installed correctly you get this AG grid plugin section here so it's the grid and here you can then select your table I'm gonna choose my amp grid table and under attributes I can um, then select the primary key column. Yeah. So if you then you open up the columns section, um, you can you get all the columns that uh, return from the table, and you can make some changes. For example, I don't want uh, ID to be changeable, so I uh, set it to false. I don't want to display the job maybe, and here for. For salary, um, I have to put, um, I, I want to make it a number field and I can then put a number format here, for example, this one. And yeah, I think it now should already work and display data. Let me quickly put in my credentials. And yeah, as you can see, here's already some data. Uh, salary is formatted as a as a currency. Uh, let's do the same for commission actually. So data type number and format that. Okay, great. So as you can see, here's now a small border. So one thing I would do is uh, go to the region and change the template options to remove body padding and now we don't have this padding here and I think it's it, lo it looks more natural so um, we can already edit the data but we haven't actually said what's done when when it's saved so for that we need to first make a save button and also add the save process for it so I'm going here back to, to the page designer and I'm going to create a, a text button, call it save, put it into the copy region because then it's uh, it's displayed here. I think that's a good place for a save button. And um, then when it's clicked, I'm going to create a dynamic action, call it save grid and I'm going to put the type save AG grid data. 
Um, yeah. So first I need to actually reference my region. So uh, I only have one here. Uh, that's also a forest type region. Then I have to really put the region and my region is this grid region here. That's uh, just your plugin region. And then you can put the DML code in here. Currently it does not support uh, DML against the source. So because I put a table in here, I could maybe in the future add uh, something that it just automatically saves against the table. But for now you have to put your own DML code in there. And um, that's the same as you may already did with an interactive grid. So um, gonna paste something here. You get this Apex or status variable and there you can uh, do different stuff based on what action is actually. So insert, update or delete is uh, called. And then you can do your insert, update or delete statements. And you get the values with the spine syntax and the column name. Validated, successful, great. So now run the page again and change something. Save, create, refresh. It did work. So maybe let's delete this one and insert a new one. Um, yeah, save, create. And it was deleted and the new row was inserted. So everything works and um, yeah, feel free to, to test this plugin out and uh, please give me feedback. In the uh, GitHub section here, you can just uh, create issues if you have, for example, bugs or feature requests. And um, yeah, hope you like it. Bye.